the bearer of the third ring, Princess Luciel of Ovis. Desiring this ring, Jaden invades with his joint army of Rundal and Hindler. Facing a fearsome assault, Ovis opens the kingdom's floodgates, and the castle soon becomes a fortress upon the lake. Meanwhile, Gernsback works to protect Oberon's betrothed, Princess Luciel. What Jaden seeks is the ring in Luciel's possession. Gernsback calls upon Garvel of the Armscalers Guild to go to Ovis, so that Luciel's ring may be entrusted to his care. The battlefield moves to the lake. At the command of Rundal's ship, more beholds the unexpected. For on the deck of the opposing ship from Ovis stands her sister, Ramada. We were born and raised in a remote village to the west. And when the village we called home was decimated by Rundal, we began our journey of revenge. Yet despite being sisters, our paths diverged. You chose to go to Heimlet to exact revenge on Rundal from within. I made a friend whom I could not abandon and settled in the small kingdom of Leonis to the east. Not a day has passed that I do not think about a revenge against Rundal. And yet, here we stand in such a place as foes. I cannot see the stars that you see. But there are stars which avail themselves only to me. And it is those stars in which I believe. Lady Moore! There are multiple enemy ships approaching. Yes, I am aware. For the stars have told me everything. Of course, my lady. My apologies. It is only natural you have seen beyond what our eyes can see. No matter how many ships they may deploy, our victory remains unshaken. I shall show you the capabilities of a true astrologer, Ramada. Uh, Ramada? My lady? It is nothing. Prepare the cannons. Yes, my lady. You shall be shown no quarter, Ramada. But you needn't worry. I shall put our people's poor souls at ease. Cannons ready! Starboard, 86 degrees. Lady Moore, it would seem we missed. How can this be? Have I been outwitted? We were 
supposed to be running away? Ramada... You... The battle commences. Now, board your vessels and take to water as you see fit. Um... As we see fit? What about our orders? Any orders I give will likely lead us to defeat. What's that supposed to mean? The enemy commands but one ship. However, it is my sister Moore who stands at its helm. Uh, uh, hold on a moment. We're about to face your sister! You need not worry. She and I have already said our farewells. I don't think that's the problem here. My sister is an astrologer of such talent that I am but an open book to her. That means we don't have the slightest chance of winning. True, but that is exactly why you shall shine. This is making less and less sense. This isn't looking good. Which is the very reason you must take to the water. Mm, I still don't get it. Hmm. Uh, shall we give it a try? Lady Etra, the mist is too dense to just enter like this. Lady Etra. Steer the ship that way! Lady Yurma! If we continue this course... I know. But we're up against Lady Ramada's sister. There's no point trying to strategize against someone like that. I suppose that's true. I've been given a ship to command too, but this is Miss Ramada's sister we're talking about, right? They said we'd no chance of beating her either. Uh, uh, I'm Lady Nasha. By continuing our course in this direction, you mean to... Run away. Of course I do! But, but... I don't care! Just keep going! Got it? Is it truly okay to leave this in the hands of those three? Yes. There is nothing for us to fear. These dense mists betray the eyes into seeing that which is not there to be seen. However, Etra will rely not on her vision, but her sense of smell to give precise orders. <sighs> I see. In contrast, Nasha will likely flee before she even encounters the enemy. If you know this, then why give her a ship? Her sense of direction is disastrous. If she were to flee as if her life depended on it... I cannot begin to imagine what would happen. 
No one can. And that will serve us nicely. Then what of Lady Yoma? She possesses a strong sense of responsibility and the bravery to match it. To employ nothing but curious strategies and deception will result in the enemy seeing through our plans. I see. So Lady Yurma's straightforward approach to battle is what allows us to confuse the enemy. Those three represent an unpredictability that cannot be seen, even in the stars. However... We cannot depend solely on that. Let us also join the battle. Yes, my lady! Lady Moore! Inconceivable! supposed to be running away! Oh, well, I guess since we're here... May as well ram them as hard as we can! going at it out there. <sighs> King Jaden. Damn it. Look how festive it is. Say, Raldar, call the ship back. Hmm. What has brought this on? I want in on the warfare. Guns roaring, the wind in my hair at the helm of the ship. Come on, what do you say? No, your highness. I'm the king of Rundal. Aren't you supposed to do as I command? The answer is still no. It was worth a try. <sighs> it sure looks like fun out there. King Jaden, is it possible you have forgotten? Huh? Forgotten what, exactly? Lady Alea's procession for the wedding. Ah, it completely escaped my mind. Why are we starting a procession at a time such as this anyway? You made the decision yourself, Your Highness. Ah. <laughs> you know what? I believe you're right. In the original plan I designed, Ovis Castle was supposed to be very much captured by now. Perhaps it would have been wiser to allow yourself more time with the arrangements. Hindler would have performed marvelously in the invasion of Ovis. And then, Alea and I would have said our vows. It would have been a most satisfactory celebration for the coalescence of our two nations. I hear that scandalmongers whisper behind closed doors. Oh? And what do they whisper? That Lady Alea is merely a hostage to ensure King Oberon does not hesitate in the subjugation of Princess Luciel. There are always those who find a way to interpret everything in the most horrendous of ways. Don't tell me you lot have your doubts as well. We would never, Your Highness. You have known Lady Alea since you were both young. I don't think there's another out there who cares for Alea as much as I do. 
In that case, perhaps it is time. Lady Alea has already departed Heindler Castle. It would not do for her to arrive at the castle without your presence. Yes, I know. It only make the poor girl lonely. I've prepared one last surprise for the battle. Put it to good use, and Ovis Castle will be ours in no time. I leave things in your capable hands. Lady Ramada, why did you call us back? I'd like to know too. We had the upper hand! I imagine the enemy is pondering the same thing. Why we don't press the advantage and attack? Indeed. As I stated earlier, my sister is an astrologer of many times my own ability. If we face her under the constraints of logic, she will rout us with ease. But if we kept fighting, I think we would have... I sensed a warning in the stars. Huh? By that, you mean... If you had pursued, perhaps you would have sunk in their ship. However, by doing so, we would have suffered great casualties, of which the consequences could not be undone. Oh no! Furthermore, there is still one more secret measure available to us. A secret measure? It would seem Ovis has made a pastime of secretly taming aquatic monsters. They have monsters? Oh, no way! That's what this water is for? Yes, that is correct. It was unexpected to see Rundal had prepared a ship. However, the monsters lurking in wait to assail them from beneath the water will pose a threat. So the monsters will fight in our stead after we retreat? That makes sense. With that, let us return. Please see to your preparations. We must retreat. What? Do my words fall on deaf ears? You'd better not be holding back because it's Princess Luciel we face. <clears throat> the enemy has the advantage and yet they do not press their attack. Do you know why? <clears throat> well... I for one know not. The stars will not speak of it. Which means we must not grasp beyond our reach. We command only this single ship. Should we lose it, the battle will quickly turn against us. <sighs> Withdraw the ship. I see that I am not the only one who has developed their prowess in our time apart. But... I promise to return this favor. are all on their way back. We'd better make haste. Where are you going? I've been thinking all this time as to why Marcherie and I are incompatible. You are yet to give up on her? Uh, of course. So the heart of the matter is that the obstacle between us is her nobility. And that has something to do with us sneaking into Ovis Castle? It has everything to do with it. Ovis is on the verge of becoming a lamb for the slaughter. So, 
As their future savior, I'm going to lend them a hand. If we emerge victorious, I'm sure they'll make a noble out of me. And then you'll strut off to go find Lady Masheri, I take it. Exactly. You're catching on fast. Then why sneak about? You should just march right in through the front gate. <sighs> what did you do? I... May have been on Rundall's side during an assault on Ovis Castle in the past. Huh, I see. That certainly explains many things. But sooner or later, they'll recognize you for who you are, no? The Queen of Ovis has passed away, and King Rogza is so old he's practically decomposing. As it stands, the kingdom only barely gets by thanks to a princess by the name of Luciel. In other words, if I can win over this Luciel, everything should be just fine. So basically, you're scheming to charm some princess into giving you a position in Ovis. Uh, well, it sounds a little distasteful when you put it like that, but yes. Oh, and just to be clear, don't you dare say anything to befoul Luciel's impression of me. What could I possibly say? I can see you suddenly piping up and saying, Camilo is my handsome lover, or the like. Not even I would disgrace myself like that. Fine. Then promise me that you will utter no such words. Very well. I shall say we don't know each other like that. Happy? I am indeed. <laughs> what is it? Curses! They found us already, huh? Hey there! The name's Camilo. I'm here to lend you a spear in your fight against Rundal. You suspicious riffraff! <laughs> Not suspicious at all! We're on your side! Silence! I suppose we have no choice. Just go easy on them, got it? Very well. After defeating so many Ova soldiers, I have my doubts as to whether what we do amounts to saving their kingdom. I know, I know. That's why we went easy on them. Alas, I think you have the right of it. In that case, should we try surrendering? The thought had crossed my mind, but... But what? I don't like the idea of entrusting my fate to the whims of the heavens. True. You aren't the type the gods would favor. Oh well. Any other strategies in mind? How about we barge in there? Let's just run as hard and as fast as we can for the throne room. And thus, the brave heroes found themselves in the royal dungeon. <laughs> Don't be so ominous. You believe we can make it? From what I could gather, the throne room is but a stone's throw away. Very well. All right, let's deal with the rest of these soldiers. And then, make like chocobos to the throne room. Got it. Identify yourselves. I swear, we're not suspicious, Riff Raff. The name's Camilo, and this is Elzarel. We're here to help save Ovis from the Rundal invasion. Is that so? Do 
not be deceived by them, Your Highness. What is going on here? They appeared in the castle grounds unknown and downed scores of our men. Oh, we went easy on them. They suffered some injuries, but they all live to tell the tale, don't they? Does he speak true? Well, yes, he does, but... What did I tell you? There's nothing I hate more than a liar, you see. Then you admit that I'll let you choose. Either take my hand or die by it, were your words. <laughs> they certainly were. Wait, who the hell? Almost took my head off! What were you thinking? Oh. Do not claim you have forgotten me. I... Hey there. I'm glad to see you well. You failed to mention you knew someone in Ovis. I wouldn't exactly say I know her. You will explain this, Dia. He is another of Rundal's mutts. He tried to slay me during my journey to Horn to request reinforcements. No, that is merely the surface of misdeeds. He had the nerve to give me the option to become his woman or to die. I... Uh, I admit that, yes. I apologize from the deepest depths of my heart. I've changed my ways. I parted with Rundal to fight Fennis alongside Leonis and Horn. Uh, that's where we met, right? Come on, tell them. We don't know each other. <laughs> hey, that wasn't what we agreed on. I believe I should be saying that. Our agreement was that upon sneaking into this castle, we do not know each other. Wait, what about the last part of that? This man, he is not to be trusted. I shall cut him down where he stands! What happened here? Are you hurt? <sighs> what was that? I said, you pitiful idiot. What? <laughs> Lady Alea! Do not leave the carriage! This present... Goka Shinobi. So this is an ambush.